tonight is clear, but I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm going to be doing wide field Milky Way photography with the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. I'm very interested and excited to see on how this compares to a DSLR with a kit lens like what I have right now. The DSLR pair with the kit lens is pretty decent, of course, for th that kit, but I'm just curious if the phone can actually get the same quality or actually beat the quality. This camera has some pretty good specs. One of the lenses on the camera, you have five back here, is actually f1.7. With my DSLR lens, it only goes down to f3.5. That's a pretty big difference. But since the pixels are definitely going to be way smaller on a phone sensor, I'm interested to see if the DSLR will make up for having a lot bigger pixels and a lot bigger of a sensor than the phone when it comes to the f ratio. So if you look at the phone here, we have a 0 0.6 times zoom a one times zoom, a three times optical zoom, and a ten times optical zoom. And you can tell because you can see the quality. If you zoom out to just nine times, it gets a lot worse. And then you put the ten times, and it's back to being good. So that's optical zoom for you right there compared to digital zoom. So that is great. And also if you go to the X aspect ratios, there's also options with 200 megapixels and one with 50 megapixels, which is quite crazy. Alright, so we are on site at this cabin where I think I'm going to be doing the Milky Way shots. I have two in mind. I'm going to do ones with Cassiopeia in the background and the other is actually the Milky Way core itself. I kind of want to show you the compositions here and also kind of give you a look at what a uh, photo pill shows you. So that's what Night AR is showing in the Photo Pills app. We also have these really cool hills out in this direction, which I think will make a nice shot. You can see behind me, way in the distance over there, the Milky Way will be above that. So if we can get an image like that, I think that'd be pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, we just gotta kinda wait till dark now that I already kinda scouted out the area and come back here once it starts getting closer to the dark. I'm gonna try to be over here at about 8.10, I'd say. Uh, Cause it's getting dark. It's, oh my gosh, it's been getting dark so much earlier now. And it, it's kind of crazy. It's probably about an hour and a half earlier now than what it was back in June. I'm kind of excited about it. Cause that means more astrophotography and earlier. So I, I like doing astrophotography earlier cause you know, when it's really late and it doesn't get dark till really late, you just don't even feel like going out, so. It getting dark early is great for astrophotographers for sure. All right, we're about to leave. I have everything packed up in my backpack, and it is just in it. It's a beautiful night. This is gonna this is gonna be amazing. I'm really excited. It's been about a year since I last did Milky Way photography at that cabin. We're about to hop on the fooler and get going over there. All right, so we got the phone camera set up. I'm going to be using ISO 1600 with 30 second exposures. I tried to use 3200 ISO the other day, but it was a little bit too high. Now I will say the moon was rising, so that might have been a factor into it, but since this phone camera is at f1.7, I really don't think it will be necessary to use ISO 3200 unless we're doing like a foreground shot or something. So I think our settings are good, I think we're ready to go. Here you can see what the phone sees, so that's the cabin right there. And we're going to go ahead and press the shutter button. We're gonna wait two seconds and then it's going to take its first exposure at the Milky Way. I cannot wait to see how this looks. I might have to scoot back a little bit. I think it's off centered according to the trees around our sides. That right there, my friends, is the first exposure with the phone. That's a raw image. So I think that's a pretty good comp composition. And we're just going to keep taking photos until we finally get enough there it goes off again it looks straight up like i'm using a dslr with this thing it looks super good and the detail is incredible 
kitchen is just absolutely fantastic. I'm gonna be so happy with this. I'm gonna light paint the foreground. In case anybody doesn't know what that is, is while your long exposure is happening, you are pretty much moving around the headlight like that, painting the foreground so the foreground lights up, so I'll pretty much show you. So it's pretty much like doing this to the foreground while the exposure is taking so the entire foreground ends up being lit up and nice looking. I am taking an image of the other side of the Milky Way now from like the side front of the cabin and my goodness this phone is insane like the only difference I'm seeing from their its subs and the DSLR subs is that the DSLR is astro modded and it has more HA that's really the only difference I'm getting which is just beyond crazy. And tonight, the Milky Way is just super clear. I mean, it is just beautiful out here. I mean, you can easily see it with the naked eye without even trying. I mean, you don't even have to look for it. It's just, in, it's in your face. Tonight was an epic night of astrophotography. I love being out in the wilderness doing Milky Way shots. It is just incredible. And I got a result I'm super happy with.